Hello everyone and welcome to another Feed Army video. In this video we will be talking about Google Shopping impressions, how to increase your impressions and uh, how to actually also reduce the CPC by going a little bit in a reverse uh, method than uh, increasing the CPC straight away. So we've got four categories, the negative keywords, micro data, data quality and increase CPC. I want, I've put increase CPC as a number one because that's the one that increases the value most most obvious um, but I want to go with number four first three two one so that we can uh, eliminate having a too high CPC because you can change the CPC bit by actually uh, going the other route now if you have an existing uh, negative keyword list, for example, you're a, you're a merchant, you've had your Google Shopping already for half a year or a year, you might have already added negative keywords. By adding, uh, by removing some existing negative keywords, you might increase your impressions again. And why am I saying this? As we go along, uh, the trend of search and search terms will change over time. So if, for example, a specific search term was negative in, in the past, it can be very popular in, at the moment where you will gain a lot of sales. So what I want you to do first is research your existing search terms by going to your webmaster tools or it's called now the search console. Um, so look into your webmaster tools, do a search for your negative keyword and see if uh, the impressions are quite high. If you have a high impression rate then you can most likely uh, correlate that exactly to your uh, Google Shopping. So removing that uh, negative keyword would increase your impressions. So that's quite important. You can also use the keyword planner for researching if your existing negative keyword is actually still uh, a negative uh, item by uh, checking how many uh, search terms, uh, search volume there is. But what I want to uh, explain is that with the, uh, the Google planner, you cannot see how much traffic you gain themselves. So, it's better to use the webmaster tools to see if you have a good impression rate uh, with that search term. Uh, you can also use Google Trends for very popular search terms to see how the, the, the trend improves or decreases. Uh, there's also a little forecast that you can see for a couple of months and then you can see if it's going to improve a lot. If it's going to improve a lot then maybe you should remove the negative keyword. The second item I want to cover is the micro data. Now uh, in the Google uh, Merchant Center you can actually enable or disable automatic updates through micro data. So if you go into the left corner uh, you can see settings then go to automated updates and you can enable it or disable it. Uh, I recommend that you enable this feature because it allows Google then to correlate your data from the website to your data feed. However, I must say that certain uh, values will be uh, correlated regardless of your settings. So for example, the price and the availability. So if you have a mismatch in price, regardless of you have enabled or disabled this feature, it will still uh, update and notify you that the price is wrong. Um, but regardless, we want to enable the microdata, so that means that you have to have the microdata added to your uh, landing page. Uh, I've added a link below in the description that you can click on which uh, explains what the microdata is, is essential for Google Shopping, removing all the complexity for you, so you, just, you can just copy uh, and paste the code uh, in your e-commerce platform or your custom platform. Um, so the most important items that you have to have in your microdata is the price, the availability and the condition. Um, so this is very important. So for example the condition is a simple uh, meta tag that you can add uh, which is a link uh, as content. So it's uh, I think it's schema.org forward slash new condition capital and capital C. Now that we've added the micro data, uh, it's very important that we also uh, update the data quality of our data feed. So the title and the descriptions are the two items that actually you, uh, uh, Google, sorry, um, extracts the keywords to display your product. So if you have highly relevant uh, search terms, then your uh, product will be ranked much better. So avoid adding pointless uh, um, mentionings of other products, uh, accessories, 
don't mention anything else than the product itself because you want to sell the product you don't really want to sell the accessory if you want to sell accessory do that on your website you know as a suggestion or, or etc in the checkout or whichever but the product in Google Shopping I recommend that you are on topic uh, which will increase your overall ranking now there are two things you've got the initial ranking and you've also got the historical ranking so for example if you change the title and description when you change the title I recommend that you are between 60 and 80 characters the recommended character is actually 70 but it's impossible to always have 70 characters of course for every single product so we change it between 60 and 80 and that should be fine uh, for the description, it is recommended to have at least 500 characters and maximum 1,000. Um, and what we want to focus on is the first 140 characters. And why am I saying 140 characters? Because you, most likely you would not see that anywhere else. When you search on Google Shopping, I'm not talking about the web search, but effectively the, the shopping marketplace, you get the image, the title, and then the description. Now the description that is visible is roughly 140 characters, which means that that is what I visually see. Now, the 140 characters, which means that Google will most likely also rank you based on that little short uh, area, but also on the rest of the, the character count. Uh, but because this is what the customer sees, if the customer sees something very highly on topic, then he's going to say, oh wow, this is a great product, I'm going to click on this, which means that now you've got a historic ranking that somebody has clicked on it. So if a lot of people do this action and your CTR is quite high, then your impressions will increase because Google will display your product because it feels that it's more relevant uh, because your uh, product is being clicked on more, maybe more than your competitor which makes it more logical that uh, you focus on on the description as well uh, also the image so have your image uh, as best as you can a square image 800 by 800 pixels uh, remove as much white space as possible which means that don't have a little tiny little uh, product image with a lot of white space around the image because then people can't see what's what's on it um, so remove it so zoom in as much as possible don't upscale your image just uh, simply increase uh, the, the so take for example a very big image and then crop it out or something like that um, so if we're talking about normal products, products title and descriptions, um, but if we're talking about apparel products, then it is very important that you also focus on the color, the size, the gender, and the age group. And why am I saying this? So for example, if uh, company A has a product listing and just puts in the title, um, Oh, here, uh, banana, oh, banana game or something, game banana, uh, sorry, I forgot what it was uh, on the t-shirt, banana game in the title and the description, uh, minions, uh, cool t-shirt, blah, 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 kind of thing. Now, if company B adds also the color, so black, size, medium, gender, uh, unisex, and age group, adult, then Google will say, oh, wow, cool. This merchant, uh, Merchant B, has a lot more information available for this product. So we're going to display this because it means that the customer will most likely identify what sizes you have. Uh, sorry, that was a bit of a, a slur, uh, what the cu customer really wants. Um, so if you have different sizes, always add a variant because it's very important that the customer can see that you have different sizes available. Think of Google Shopping as a completely different area of your website. You need to identify to the customer what the product is, what sizes are available, what colors are available, etc. So the more you add, the better you will have. Now that we've done all the free uh, updates, which means that we have a very highly focused uh, data feed and also the website. We can then start focusing on increasing the CPC. Uh, if, for example, the benchmark, so if you click on columns, you can add a benchmark and also a lost impression search. Um, then you can focus on increasing the, the CPC. So if you have a lost impression rate of, for example, 50% and the benchmark is $1 CPC, uh, and you currently have uh, 50 cents, increase it by to, to 0 0.75 uh, cents, which means that most likely you gain 25 
percent more search results but I'm not really sure that that's really accurate so don't go go by what I'm saying but increasing the CPC will give you more impressions um, but it will be a better result when you have done everything else and then do this so if you have a, a lost impression rate of 50 percent correlate the data for seven days so write down the impression the lost impression that you had because uh, google doesn't show what the lost impression was from the previous seven days so write it down 50 percent you've changed it to 75 cents and then see if you have gained a lot more impressions uh, if you have gained a lot more impressions and the uh, lost impression rate has decreased to 25 percent then you can see say that okay I've done a good job, the CPC has uh, correlated directly to increased impressions, which means you've done a good job. So I want to focus that this is a last resort for me personally, because I've got, I've got many clients that um, want to increase the impressions, but also decrease the, the costs. So uh, by just going uh, through AdWords and just changing things in AdWords, that's not going to be enough. You really need to do all the rest. And there are a lot more other little elements that you need to do, like uh, the extensions in AdWords, uh, the website as well, and, and some other things that are, are uh, a little bit less important. But these are the main f items that you need to improve if you want to be a successful merchant. Now, I hope this was uh, very useful and uh, I've covered everything in a correct way. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. I'm more than happy to answer every single question. And thank you for watching this video and see you next time.